Bye bye. Say bye bye. Are you going to wait at the park? Yeah, we're going to go soon. We're going to get the bus. Okay, bye. Bye. Wait, bye. Going to wait to the park. We're going to get the bus. We're going to get the bus. We're going to get the bus to the park. We went to the park, we were from Paul's, and we started throwing stones at one another. And we got bored, and one of them says, Well, I'll go throw stones at a bus, and we went, and then it ended up crashing. I'm the one that threw the stone at the bus. I was at the park, I was bored, and I just chucked the stones. I thought, I thought it would be a laugh, but it wasn't. We were bored, it was a sunny day, we just like throwing stones at the bus. That would just smash a Wendy. Consequences. It was devastating. I didn't realise it was going to crash into a pram. Just remember a, a, a bang and it distracted us. And, you know, I looked round to where the bang was coming from, and when I looked back, the girl was just in, in the middle of the road, and there was just really nothing really I could have done to, to stop what happened. When I got out of the bus, um, the girl was inconsolable. She was screaming. She was, she was panicking. She was, you know, she, she really didn't know what was going on, and she was screaming about her, her, her baby being knocked over and run over and stuff like that. And when I looked under the bus, uh, I discovered that the baby was trapped underneath the, the front axle of the bus in the floor, and. You know, it was just couldn't believe what happened. Well, it was kind of a bit of a blur. Everything was happening that fast, and once we realised that the baby was under the bus, we, we phoned the police and the ambulance and such like. And all the emergency services came to to attend the incident, and you know they had to lift the bus up, and it was a bit of a blur for me as well because I think, you know, I wasn't really sure what was happening after what happened. So we was on the bus going up to a match and I remember us getting a hit in the head with a brick. We were called to an incident involving a bus, um, I believe it uh, maybe hit a child as well. I went on to the bus when I got there. Um, a young lad seemed to be quite concussed. We thought he'd maybe been hit by a brick that had come through the window. Um, but it appeared that it was the glass that had actually uh, caused the wounds to his face, which could have actually blinded him. Um, we dressed it up and managed to get him off the bus, but quite a reckless act um, that could have been a lot more serious to the people uh, on the bus. Are you saw here, Josh, at all? No. No, saw down here at all. Moving on your arms, okay? Yeah, I'm out here. Yeah, you okay? How you feeling? Right, we're gonna put a wee bandage on your head, okay? Anybody else okay. hurt? You okay? Yeah. She's blind. <laughs> I remember waking her up. This guy just kept shouting about his mum being blind. Rocked in off a bus. Got ten and nine millions of a bandage put on my head. I kept hearing him as the last is screaming. She just kept screaming and screaming. Just remember coming off the bus or this woman in hysterics and I remember just looking and I seen the pram and I think her baby was kind of stuck under the bus. It was like, it was just traumatic. She was screaming. There was ambulances there, fire service, the police. The bus driver was, you know, like a ghost, to be honest. Like, it was just, it was horrible. It was horrible to see. And so, so I remember when I was on the ambulance, that I got, I remember hearing somebody speaking about like a bear being trapped under a wheel on the bus, and nobody can do anything because I had to wait on the ferries coming. But I can, just couldn't do anything. Right, we'll get your seatbelt on. Okay, he's all right. Yeah. Good. Um, I just said goodbye to my sister. Uh, then we decided we were going to go to the park and. I was on my way to the bus stop 
and um, we tried to, I tried to cross the road and I just heard a smash and could we stop for a second please? Yeah, yeah, I can remember what happened initially. Um, myself and my family were driving on a day trip. We seen out of nowhere a bus swerve. We swerved immediately to our left. The bus was coming towards me to my right. Um, we managed to get out of the way of the bus. We nearly crashed ourselves, so we managed to stop, check the family was okay. And then when I got outside, I I seen that the bus had stopped, there was a pram on the road, a woman screaming. It was just chaos. Chaos. Anybody can get for you. Can I get your hubby or your boyfriend? No, I want this. Please let me see her. Please. Can I see her just now? You will get to see her I just, later. I just can I see her just now? We've got a lot of things to get on with. We'll get somebody she's, for you. She's, she's okay. She's to? okay. Who can we get for you? No one. She's not. She's mom. sorry. Go right. my mom, please. What's your mum's name? We were, uh, we were called that day to an RTC involving a bus with reported casualties. When I arrived there, I was met by a, a mother. She was just distraught. She was screaming her head off. Said that her child was under the bus. Um, once I got under the bus, I could see it wasn't a child, it was a baby, and it was trapped. Um, the unfortunate thing was I couldn't get to the baby, so I had to get the fire brigade to lift the bus up so I can get underneath. When I got underneath the bus, the baby was dead. It was just mashed, it was completely. Um, the sad thing about that is that for a reckless act, 
that somebody throws a brick through a bus window, they don't realise the consequences that can appear. Sorry, yeah, they had a smash and uh, I tried to pull the baby out of the way of the bus, but I think the bus just hit the pram, I can't really remember. Everything, everything went black, it was just, I just, I just remember ugh, there was so much going on, the, the pram was upturned on the road and it was empty and I think she, she, she was under the wheel, I know she was, but they, they wouldn't let me try and get her out, it was just horrible and I, I just, I remember sitting in the back of, of the police car and I think it was the fireman that came over and he told me my baby was dead, but I didn't believe it. I still don't believe it. I wake up every morning and she's not there. I just don't understand why kids would do something like that. Why, why, would, why would they throw a stone or a brick or whatever it was at a bus? It's, it's just ruined my life and I can't fix it. After uh, the paramedic had told us that the, the baby had died, I then had to go and tell the mum that uh, the baby had died. She was a bit, she was hysterical. I think she was a bit confused because she thought it was the fire service that told her there had been a fatality. So I then made my way over to the, the car where, where she was and I bent down and uh, I told her that her baby had died. Those words that I said to her, she'll remember for the rest of her life because her baby's now dead. It's the biggest loss she'll ever remember in her life. And it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do, is to tell somebody that their baby's been killed as a result of an accident, a tragic accident, that could have been avoided. Just absolutely gutted, absolutely gutted for the, for the woman. And again, just because kids think it's maybe a laugh to go and, go and throw a brick at a bus. It's like, I don't know, they maybe thought it was a laugh, but you need to realise how, how severe it is. Um, not just that, the, the boy as well, he could have been killed as well, the boy that was sitting just in from me and I just don't know what the, the parents going through at this time. Just horrible. Once they find out who the person was that threw the stone at the bus, they'll get reported to the procurator first one under the for culpable and reckless conduct. When they're found guilty, they could be put in a secure accommodation or even jail and you'll not see your family for a long time for doing one stupid act throwing a stone at a bus. I can't believe that they burned through stones at the bus, but the young, they didn't have nothing to do, they were probably bored. My dad being young, we've had done it. But that mum, can't, can't believe that. Like, she's got to put up with that for the rest of her life. So, if just didn't throw stones at buses, cars, taxis, anything like that, but it just had burns, any, anybody. <laughs>